Welcome to another episode of the Confident Fit Woman podcast, episode 274, which is absolutely insane to me that we are already there and that we are actually getting close, very, very close to that 300 marker. And I'm actually super excited. But yeah, this is the number one podcast for women who want to lose weight in a sustainable and non-restrictive way. You are have been struggling with your health and fitness goals for so long. It's finally time for you to learn the sustainable approach and the long-term success that you're going to get with the tips and value and resources that I'm about to give you. So yeah, let's get into it. Today, we're going to talk about nutrition tips and myths. Um, so we're going to unbuckle a lot of some nutrition myths that you have heard in the past, and I'm going to give you the right tips for you to get to your weight loss goals, and we're going to dive deep into nutrition today. So make sure to take a pen and paper, and let's get right into it. All right, now before we get started, I know how frustrating it is to not know what to do, how overwhelming it is with all the misinformation that's out there. So what I did is I have created a free cheat sheet that's going to help you lose 20 pounds all from home. There's some workouts in there, there's some um, nutritional guidance, uh, some meal plans, some recipes, all that good stuff. So if you want a copy of it, make sure to drop me below this video or send me a message on my Instagram at Salome Abiger, and I will literally drop it into your DMs. <laughs> no questions asked. My gift to you for being so awesome. Now, for those of you who have no idea who I am and you're watching me, you're like, who the heck is this girl? My name is Salome Abiger. Over the last four years, I've had the pleasure to work with over 200 women, lose between 20, 30, 40, 50, even 70 pounds in the first 90 days with my program called The Dangerous Divas. And in every single video that you see, every podcast episode, my entire goal is to give you the quick weight loss tip that you can start implementing as soon as we're done with this episode. And that way I can give you the knowledge that you need to finally get to your goals and be successful forever. Successful forever. And today we're gonna talk about nutrition myths and I'm gonna give you some tips to actually get to your goals in a sustainable journey and get to your weight loss goals once and for all. All right, let's go, let's get started. So before we get started with anything, I wanna debunk some common misconception, common nutrition myths that we have been taught over and over again and are not, not that wrong, but they can steer you into the wrong direction when it comes to a sustainable weight loss. So let's get, dive into this. First thing is, I know you guys have heard this over and over again, is carbs are the enemy, right? That is the first tip or first myth, I should say, that everybody says, you need to cut out carbs. Carbs are not going to help you, blah, 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 blah. Carbohydrates are not your enemy. In fact, they are the number one source of energy for your body. So eat carbs. Now, what's important is the type of carbs that you choose. So you want to eat for um, carbohydrates that are complain or complex, which is found in your whole grains, your fruits, your vegetables, because they provide you that sustained energy and that fiber, which is going to aid with digestion and helps you keep you full. So if you believe that carbs are bad, they are not. They are your best friend. Okay. Number two, I know you guys have heard this too, and drop in the comments if you have heard these things. You have to eat less to lose weight. Mm, no, you definitely don't. Eating less does not mean you're going to lose more weight, okay? It's all about eating the right types of food and maintaining those portion sizes. A well-balanced meal, and all of my clients eat multiple meals a day, and a well-balanced meal with the right nutrients is actually going to help you support your weight loss goals and instead of depriving your body of the essential nutrients that you need. So 99% um, of the clients that I work with, they have not been eating enough. So what you need to do is that you need to eat more to build up your metabolism, okay? And that was last week's episode that we talked about that as well, or last two episodes ago. Um, number three, fats are bad. Oh my God, no, they're not. 
Fats are great. The idea that fats are bad, bad is so, so, so out, outdated. Okay, that was like 1800s type thing. Healthy fats such as avocados, nuts, olive oil, those are very, very important. And they are so good for the absorption of certain vitamins. They are so important for you to, to have. And you need to incorporate them into your body and into your diet as well. Because that's what is going to help you be... Um, I, I guess it's going to help you with satiety. Or I cannot say it properly. But um, yeah, like you're going to be full and you're going to be okay with it. And you're going to keep your overall health and your well-being proper okay i can't i just can't say the freaking word um <laughs> so now that we have unbuckled or unbunked goodness cannot talk today unbunked the three biggest myths that i get every single time and i know you guys have heard as well i want to give you some proper nutritional tips that you can use to actually have a sustainable weight loss and be successful with it okay <laughs> so let's get started you better write these things down because I'm telling you, they are so good. And these are things that I use and my clients use every single day. Number Tip number one, you want to eat balanced meals. A well-balanced meal should include three components, protein, carbs, and fats. Protein could be like chicken, lean turkey, fish, tofu, beans, any of these things. Protein is going to help you maintain your muscle mass and help you stay full. So if you feel like you're not full and you're always hungry, you're not eating enough protein. Then you're, there's your fats. You need to incorporate things like avocados, nuts, seeds, olive oil. So easy to incorporate into our diet. And those are going to help you have that overall bodily function. And it's going to aid with satiety. Satiety. I don't know how to say it. And then carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are amazing and they are your number one source of energy. So you want to opt for complex carbs like whole grains, fruits, vegetables. They're going to provide you with the energy that you need, the fiber that you need. And it's going to help you feel satisfied. And digestion is going to be on point as well. Okay. So once you incorporate these things into your diet and your meals, you create a nutrient-rich amount of food and that is going to help you support your weight loss goals now tip number two now that you have a weight loss meals and you know or <laughs> balanced meals and you know what you should be eating let's talk about portion control portion control is so important and it's something that a lot of people don't really pay attention to it's managing your calorie intake effectively so you want to use smaller plates, right? Because that's what's going to help you visually see the portion sizes, preventing you from that overconsumption. okay? Then you want to measure and weight as well. So uh, measuring cups, uh, the scales, whatever it may be, to be able to portion your food, that is 100% going to help you as well. And then most importantly, listen to your body. Pay attention to what it's telling you. Is it hungry? Is it full? Stop when you feel satisfied, not when you're about to have a food coma, okay? Eat slowly, and that's going to help you recognize those clues or those cues a lot better. So like for me, I like to eat while I'm not really doing anything or I'm watching a movie. That way I know that I'm not paying attention um, to, oh, uh, sorry, I am paying attention to what I'm eating and how much I'm eating, okay? That's so important. Portion control literally manages your calorie intake, and that's what's going to help you way more than anything else, okay? Tip number three, meal prep. Meal prep is such a big overlooked tool that a lot of people think that it takes a lot of time, and it's not a you know sustainable it is absolutely sustainable it is absolutely amazing and that's what's going to help you maintain that healthy lifestyle staying in the course of your weight loss journey okay so what you want to do it's very simple to meal prep don't overthink it first of all but you want to plan ahead know exactly which meals you're going to have at which time literally have a structure of your meals and know what you're going to eat then as soon as you get home from the store you want to cook in batches i do everything big i cook a lot of rice i cook a lot of chicken a lot of vegetables and it makes it so much easier after to have a proportion because that way when you're busy and you're tired you kind of just grab the food and eat it right rather than oh well we're gonna order in today because i didn't prepare for this 
so important and then include variety definitely have different type of meals throughout the week um to prevent that food boredom especially for dinner i have realized that a lot of my clients change out dinners as well as myself just so that it changes things up okay number four tip number four hydration hydration is everything and it's often underestimated hugely in weight loss so here's what you want to do you want to drink water before your meals consuming a glass of water is going to help you control your appetite and prevent you from overeating okay avoid sugary beverages obviously you can have some but they're kind of like empty calories um if you want you can definitely do like herbal tea or even put like uh even sparkling water that has a taste or even even put like some type of fruits or vegetables into your water super awesome gives it a little taste and then monitor your urine i know this sounds gross but if your urine is not clear you are not hydrated so literally if you are peeing and the color is not clear you should be drinking more water i know it sounds stupid but yeah that's as simple as that so make sure that you're drinking lots of water it's going to help you boost your metabolism it's going to support your metabolism and your overall health and it's going to prevent you from having that like to for from having that like oh i need a snack when really you're just thirsty if that makes sense on unnecessary snacking and then tip number five the most important one mindful eating mindful eating can literally change your relationship with food from bad to positive and that's what's going to help you have a comprehensive look of how much and what you are putting into your body. So, like I said, you're going to eat without distractions. Create a dedicated meal plan. Um, I know for us, for dinner, we literally eat all of us on the dinner table. You know, no distractions, kind of like talking about it. That gives you a so, so much better attention to what you're eating and a better experience of it. Chew your food slowly. This is something that I have struggled with. I like to chew my food fast um, and not not chew, really. But I have learned that you have to chew and take your time with each bite. I think it's about like 30 chews before you should swallow it. Um, that way you actually enjoy the flavors, enjoy the textures of your food, allowing it and also allowing your body to know when it is full, right? Because if you're just scarfing full food down your face you're not really gonna know when you're full and then again most importantly listen to your body take some pauses during your meal there's nothing wrong with that i have gotten made fun of so many times for taking pauses during dinner and i'm like no i'm not done i'm literally just taking a pause and you will wait for me to be done like ask yourself are we eating as fast as possible or are we wanting to have a better relationship with food? Because mindful eating does exactly that. A good relationship with food, a healthy relationship with food that's going to have a much deeper connection to enjoy the foods that you're eating. Okay, so those are the best tips that I can give you to get to your goals in a sustainable way. I know it sounds overwhelming and I know it's a lot, but I promise you it is not that bad. And um. I promise you that you will actually get to your goals a lot faster once you start doing these things, 100%. So as we wrap up this episode, I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, experiences related to your nutrition and weight loss. Literally, feel free to share in the comments or send me a message. I am here to help you guys out. All right. So that is it. If you guys want access to my free cheat sheet that's going to help you lose 20 pounds all from home. And like I said, nutritional guidance, meal plans, all that good stuff is all in there for you. Drop me below this video and I'll send you a message. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you found these, um, this episode very valuable and that you got to learn a little bit more about nutrition. I appreciate you all and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.